Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon Anna Maywand on your screen? Perhaps it was a classic film night, or maybe you caught a glimpse of her captivating presence in an old photograph. Regardless of how you first encountered this trailblazing actress, her image likely left an indelible mark in your memory. Anna Mae Wong, born Wong Liu Tsong in 1905, was a groundbreaking figure in Hollywood's early days. She was a trailblazer who defied stereotypes and paved the way for Asian American actors in the entertainment industry. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about this remarkable woman that you may not know. Did you know that Anna Mae Wong was the first Asian American actress to gain international fame? Her talent and charisma transcended borders, making her a sensation not only in Hollywood but also in Europe and Asia. Her on-screen presence was magnetic, drawing audiences from all walks of life. Another fascinating tidbit is that Anna Mae Wong faced numerous challenges due to the racial prejudices of her time. Despite the limitations imposed on her, she persevered and left an indomitable mark on the silver screen. Her determination serves as an inspiring reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. As we delve deeper into the life and legacy of Anna Mae Wong, y'all discover more about her remarkable career, her impact on cinema, and the lasting influence she has had on generations of actors to come. So, let's embark on this journey of exploration and appreciation for a true pioneer of the silver screen, Anna Mae Wong. Anna Mae Wong. Anna, Anna Mae Wong, a complex relationship with her father Anna Mae Wong, the trailblazing Chinese-American actress, led a remarkable life in the golden age of Hollywood. While she achieved great success and broke barriers for Asian actors in the industry, her personal life was marked by a strained relationship with her father, Wang Sam Singh. Anna Mae Wong's acting career soared in the 1920s and 1930s. She became the first Chinese-American film star and made her mark with roles in films like The Toll of the Sea and Shanghai Express. However, her pursuit of a Hollywood career created a rift between her and her father, who disapproved of her choice of profession. This strained relationship persisted as Anna Mae Wong continued to excel in her acting career, which took her to international fame. The divide between Anna Mae Wong and her father grew even wider when it came to her inheritance. In her will, Anna decided to disinherit her father, leaving her wealth and assets to other family members and charities. This decision further distanced her from her father and reflected the deep-seated tension between them. Later in her life, Anna Mae Wong converted her Santa Monica, California home into several apartments, which she named Moongate Apartments. She managed these apartments from the late 1940s until 1956, when she moved in with her brother, Richard. This phase of her life marked a departure from her glamorous Hollywood career, as she focused on her personal life and family. Anna Mae Wong's story is one of triumph in the face of adversity, but it's also a poignant reminder of the complex relationships that can be shaped by ambition and success. Her journey in Hollywood not only broke barriers for Asian actors, but also revealed the personal sacrifices she made along the way. The way, the way, the way, the way. Anna Mae Wong, a trailblazing actress of Chinese descent, made significant contributions to Hollywood's early film industry. While she faced many challenges due to racial biases, she left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. One notable aspect of Wong's career is the controversy surrounding her on-screen kisses. It is believed that she never kissed her leading man on the lips in her films, with a few exceptions. In the 1934 movie Java Head, Wong shared a kiss with John Loder, a rare occurrence for an actress of her background. However, earlier attempts at such scenes were not as successful. In Road to Dishonor, a kissing scene with John London was filmed but ultimately deleted by censors due to concerns about an interracial kiss. In Lady from Chunking, a Caucasian actor, Harold Huber, playing a Japanese general, shared a kiss with Wong on the lips as the scene faded. These instances were exceptions to the norm, reflecting the racial attitudes of the time. Another significant milestone in Wong's career was her role in The Toll of the Sea, which is considered the first full-length color movie. Wong played the lead role in this groundbreaking film, showcasing her talent and helping pave the way for color cinema. Born as the second of seven children, Wong grew up in a diverse family, 
Her siblings included Richard, Lulu, and James. Her upbringing provided her with a unique perspective that she later brought to her acting career, where she often challenged stereotypes and portrayed strong, complex characters. In conclusion, Anna Mae Wan's career was marked by both achievements and challenges. She broke barriers in Hollywood, leaving her mark on the industry. Whether it was her rare on-screen kisses or her pioneering role in the first color movie, Wan's legacy endures as a testament to her talent and resilience in the face of adversity. Anna Mae Wan, the iconic Chinese-American actress, had a significant impact on both the entertainment industry and charitable endeavors. While there isn't substantial information available about her romantic relationships, there are noteworthy details about her philanthropic contributions and her influence on fellow actors. In 1942, during World War II, Anna Mae Wan displayed her commitment to supporting China in its time of need. She donated her entire salary from two films, Bombs Over Burma and Lady from Chunking, to the then United China Relief. This act of generosity demonstrated her dedication to aiding her ancestral homeland during a critical period in history. Furthermore, Anna Mae Wan played a role beyond her performances on screen. She once coached Dorothy Lammer, who was cast as a Eurasian girl in a film. This highlights her willingness to mentor and support fellow actors, especially in navigating roles that required cultural sensitivity. In summary, Anna Mae Wan's contributions extended beyond her acting career. Her generous donations to United China Relief during World War II and her willingness to assist and mentor her peers in the industry showcase her multifaceted impact. 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 Anna Mae Wong, Hollywood Trailblazer, and the unfulfilled dream Anna Mae Wong, a trailblazing Chinese-American actress, left an indelible mark on Hollywood despite facing racial barriers in the early 20th century. While her career achievements are well documented, there's a poignant chapter that sheds light on her personal struggles and aspirations. In 1931, tragedy struck when Anna Mae Wan's mother died in a car accident. This devastating loss marked a turning point in her life. Grief-stricken, she continued to pursue her acting career with renewed determination. Her mother's death served as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the need to seize opportunities. One such opportunity came in 1960 when Anna Mae Wong was posthumously honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, located at 1708 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. This recognition was a testament to her enduring legacy as a pioneering Asian-American actress who broke down barriers in the entertainment industry. Her star shares a prominent place with a life-size statue of her, part of the Four Ladies Hollywood Gazebo, which also celebrates other actresses of color, including Dorothy Dandridge. This memorial stands as a symbol of the strides made in Hollywood towards diversity and inclusivity. However, one of the most poignant moments in Anna Mae Wan's career was her unfulfilled dream of portraying Olan in the 1937 romance film The Good Earth. Despite her earnest desire and undeniable talent, she was denied the role due to her Chinese ethnicity, while the male lead, Paul Mooney, was Caucasian. Instead, she was offered the role of Lotus, a Chinese peasant girl, which she declined, as it perpetuated stereotypes. This incident highlighted the racial prejudices prevalent in the industry at the time and the limited opportunities for actors of Asian descent. In conclusion, Anna Mae Wan's journey in Hollywood was marked by both triumphs and challenges. Her determination in the face of personal tragedy and her commitment to breaking racial barriers in the entertainment industry remain an enduring legacy. Her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Four Ladies Hollywood Gazebo serve as a lasting tribute to her contributions to film and her impact on the path toward greater diversity in Hollywood. In Hollywood. In, Ho in the late 1930s, Anna Mae Wan owned two Pekingese dogs, Maskey and Dumshaw, given to her by TK. Chang, the Chinese consul for Los Angeles, California. These furry companions were a cherished part of her life during a period marked by her significant contributions to the film industry. Anna Mae Wan's career was notable not only for her talent but also for breaking barriers as one of the first Chinese-American actresses in Hollywood. Her remarkable journey took her from silent films to talkies, and she became a symbol of representation for Asian-Americans in the entertainment world. While Frank, Roger, and Mary were close to Anna Mae Wong, 
It's Mary who had a unique connection with the actress. Mary once served as Anna's film understudy, a testament to one's commitment to supporting aspiring talents in the industry. In later years, a misconception arose about Anna May Wan's final resting place. It was initially believed that she was buried in an unmarked grave in Angeles Rosedale Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. However, further research revealed that she was laid to rest under her Chinese name beside her mother and sister in a family plot, emphasizing her enduring connection to her heritage. Anna May Wong's legacy lives on as an inspiration to future generations, both for her cinematic achievements and her contribution to cultural representation in Hollywood. Her story serves as a reminder of the progress made in the entertainment industry, while also highlighting the importance of accurate historical documentation. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the remarkable life and career of Anna Mae Wong, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic figure of the silver screen. Anna Mae Wong was more than just an actress. She was a trailblazer who defied the odds and paved the way for generations to come. Her talent, determination, and grace transcended borders and broke down barriers, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Now, it's your turn. What are your favorite memories or thoughts about Anna Mae Wan's performances? Was it her mesmerizing presence in the Toll of the Sea or the groundbreaking role in Daughter of the Dragon? Perhaps it was her ability to convey complex emotions with a single glance or her dedication to her craft that resonates with you. In sharing your reflections, you become a part of the legacy of Anna Mae Wan, keeping her spirit alive in the hearts of those who continue to be inspired by her work. Your thoughts are a tribute to her enduring influence on the world of film and the cultural landscape. In closing, I extend my heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in Anna Mae Wan's remarkable journey. Her impact on entertainment is immeasurable, and her story serves as a testament to the power of determination, talent, and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history, and may Anna Mae Wan's legacy continue to shine brightly in your heart and mind.